Hey guys, it's me, 80s Morpho 4. Today, guys, we're back for the Africa Cup of Nations, guys. Today, guys, I'll be predicting with you guys about my group predictions. Now, remember, guys, the top two nations advance from each group, and there are two nations that will no longer take part in this AFCON that are Kenya and Zimbabwe. So, commiserations to the, both of those nations. They have been disqualified for, I believe, um, uh, for, I believe, internal issues. So, I'll not specify too much because I don't want to get too uh, much into that kind of topic, but, um, just understand that those two nations will not be able to partake. And because it's a group state, because you have a lot of groups to go down, guys, I'm not going to really de go detail by group. We're not going to go by, we're not going to, like, go ahead and, like, give hours and hours. You know, I want to keep this around 10 minutes at the very most. So, you know, I won't be fully analytical here. So just understand that if I'm giving up, I'm just trying to do this as concise as I can. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So group A, we have Guinea-Bissau. Mauritius, Nigeria, Sierra Leone. Um, this is really interesting. I think it's very obvious Nigeria is going to top this group. They have the quality of players. I don't need to mention all the players. They're one of the best nations in Africa. I know they didn't qualify for the World Cup, guys. I know that already. So some of you guys don't need to let me know. I know they did it. However, I still think they are amongst the top 10 best in Africa. Now it's going to be really tricky between Guinea-Bissau and Sierra Leone. This is for me a battle between these two nations. Mauritius, I think they're finishing last. This is tough. This is really, really tough, guys. But I am going to go with... I have been more and more impressed with Sierra Leone. Especially what they did in the AFCON. And I just feel as though that what they did in the AFCON was very commendable. And I just feel like, though, that AFCON performance, it will continue here. It's going to be very close because I think Guinea Bissau will give them a very tough go. And I think both games could end up being very close. I just think Sierra Leone will just have the edge here. And I think they'll top the group mainly by their goal difference. And remember, they have a very good goalkeeper. The defense can be very key. So I actually think Sierra Leone will do this. It'll be very close. Although, like I said, though, I think Guinea Bissau have definitely what it takes to very much battle for that second place. I wouldn't be surprised. Group B, we got Burkina Faso, Cape Verde, Estuana, Togo. I think this is very straightforward, guys. I think this is very straightforward. I think Burkina Faso, Cape Verde are going to progress through. Uh, Togo, Estuana, I don't really think have the quality of players to compete. And, um, yeah, I think this is straightforward. Um, I, I'll be very surprised if we have any other any other results. As far as topping the group is concerned, let me just give you guys my top pick. I am going to go with Burkina Faso. I think Burkina Faso, for what they did, getting to the AFCON semifinals, I think is very commendable. And for Cape Verde, they got to the round of 16 of the last AFCON indeed. So, yeah, um, let's move on to Group C. We got Burundi, Cameroon, Kenya, and Nambia. Um, Cameroon should definitely top this group there in the World Cup. Of course, that's pretty straightforward. Now, for second place, obviously, we know Kenya will not compete, so let's disregard them. So it's going to come down to Burundi and Nambia. And I'm going to say this. This is really tough. This is really, really tough, guys. However, I'm going to go for a very interesting prediction. I, I do think Nambia, from what I've seen, I think could be one of the dark horses. I think they could be one of the surprise teams that make the AFCON. And I think that they could surprise a lot of people. I think they will uh, qualify, but it's going to be very close. It's going to be very close for them in Burundi for that second place spot. I'm giving the edge to Nambia. However, I wouldn't be surprised to see Burundi. So... For me, it's going to be very difficult, but I'm going to go with Nambia for this one just because I feel like there's something more uh, coming up. I feel like Nambia could surprise people here in this one. Uh, group D, we got Egypt, Ethiopia, Ethiopia, Guinea, Malawi. Now, this is very tricky. Obviously, first is straightforward. Egypt is first. That's easy. Now, second place is very tricky. We got Ethiopia, Guinea, and Malawi. Now, all these nations, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, did partake in the last AFCON. So now... Um, one of these two, one of these nations, uh, two of these nations is going to miss out. Which of the two is going to miss out? And actually, I think all the nations made the AFCON the last edition. I think I'm going to go with Ethiopia to finish last. I believe they finished last in Group A of the last AFCON. And I feel like they're the worst team on paper. Now it's between Guinea and Malawi. I actually think Guinea should do this. Um, they obviously have the player of Nabi Keita. And I think he's a very fundamental player. And I just think that that itself will probably be enough to navigate through. Um, this could be like a really close group. Like, I could see this group being just decided by a single point. We could see Egypt probably with maybe like 12 points. Um, because it's six, yeah, six games. So, or sorry, not 12 points, 18 points. And then we could see a scenario where second place gets like, I don't know, like, let's say like seven 
third gets seven, and then like six, and then five. It could be that close, guys. It could be very close. I believe these games are home and away, so um, it's going to be very interesting, guys. It's going to be very interesting, but I just think that Guinea and the Grand Scheme of Things, they should qualify through. So they're going to qualify in second place, in my opinion. Like Group B, we got um, Angola, Central African Republic, Ghana, and Madagascar. Ghana, for me, should definitely top this group. I know they did what they did in the last AFCON was very, very poor for their standards, um, but I think Ghana is on the rise. You know, especially with all the dual nationalities coming into play. You know, how you have players like Lamptey that could be recruited, be a Ghana player. Then, obviously, you have... Oh, who's the other player? I forgot his name. Inyaki Williams, Nico Williams, Callum hudson Doy, All these kind of players. And Katea. Um, It's going to be very, very important. Now, if Ghana don't get those players, will they be screwed? Uh, not necessarily. I think they'll be fine. They'll probably still qualify. But I think if Ghana don't have those players, that could really hurt them in the World Cup. And by the way, guys, remember, guys, next Wednesday, we're going to be starting our World Cup previews each nation in the world cup so make sure you guys stay tuned and ghana's already been recorded by the way so um that'll be coming out very soon but anyways getting back on this thing uh ghana should definitely talk this second place is gonna be tricky angola central african republic and madagascar madagascar what they did in the 2019 afcon was ridiculous i think they made it all the way to the quarterfinals i think or was that round of 16 they made it to the knockout stage i think um Oh, yeah, sorry, I think they went in the round of 16. They got eliminated by Tunisia, I think. Uh, and I don't really think Madagascar are going to repeat this magic again. They didn't qualify for the last AFCON. Central African Republic is a decent nation. Remember, they gave Nigeria a tough test. I actually think they, I actually, if I'm not mistaken, I think they beat Nigeria and um, their stadium and the World Cup qualifiers. So, and then obviously got Angola, who's already made a World Cup before. I think it was like, um, was it 2006, I think? They made a, it was a long time ago, I think. So, I think Angola is going to finish last. And it's going to come down to between Central African Republic and Madagascar. I would love to see Madagascar back. I would love, love to see it, guys. But if I'm being objective here, I don't think Madagascar, I think Madagascar have fallen off. I don't think they're going to do this again. And I just feel as though Central African Republic is going to do this through. It's going to be close. This could come down to goal difference or head-to-head -head or whatever. Um, maybe even a single point. Maybe even goals four scored. Um, but I actually think Central African Republic will just edge this narrowly, guys. Central African Republic are going to edge this narrowly. This is a good one, though. This is a tough one to call. But I'm going to go Central African Republic just to narrowly edge this one. The group, group F, we've got Algeria, Nigeria, Tanzania, uh, Uganda. I think this is very straightforward for Algeria. They should definitely top this group. Now, second place is very tricky. Second place is very, very tricky, guys. Very tricky indeed. You got Niger, Tanzania, Uganda. Last, I think it's going to be Tanzania. This is a tough. This is really tough, guys. Between Niger and Uganda. Really tough. Even Tanzania, I'm not sure they'll finish last. I might give the edge to Uganda... And I say that because I feel like, I just feel they'll do something in this one. This one, I'm not so sure about this one. Um, but let me go in and just check something real quick. Let me just go and check on my phone. So, um, I believe, because, let me see, how they did in the World Cup qualifiers. Let me see this real quick. Uh, because I kind of want to check this out. Because this is kind of tough. Like, I, 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 I yeah, this is a tough man. You want let me see what they did. So, the World Cup qualifiers, they actually came second in group, oh, I see. They, yeah, I remember now. They came second in group E. And then what about um, the other groups? Uh, Tanzania, let's see where they... Niger came third in Group A. And then let's see Tanzania, well, how do they do? Um, Tanzania, let's see, where do they do? They came third, wow, they were in the same group as... Um, hmm, this is tough, guys, this is really tough. I think I'm going to end up going with... I'm going to go with Uganda. I think Uganda is a safe pick here. And actually, let me look back at something. So, um, for Group E. Um, let me see. I just want to see something. Quick. And go, let's see how... This is tough. Because I realized something, guys. All the nations that in Ghana's group, excluding Ghana, finished last in the group. That's even more tricky. But I'm still gonna go with I'm still gonna go with Central African Republic. I think they'll do this, guys. I think they'll do this. But this could be very tough, or maybe Madagascar, I should say. And they even have um. Let me see this real quick. They all have a negative goal difference. 
And they all got roughly around the same points. Five and four points, respectively. Oh, man, this is really tricky. But I'm still going to go. You know what? I'm not going to change my prediction. I'm going to go Central African Republic. D don't change your mind. Let's just keep going ahead to it. But who knows what could happen that way. Um, let's move on to Group G, guys. we got Congo, Gambia, Mali, South Sudan. Okay, this one's... I feel like this is straightforward. I think Mali is going to top this group. And then I think Gambia is going to make it through. We, we saw what Gambia did in the AFCON, guys. They were fantastic. Made the quarterfinals and everything like that. And I know people will say, oh, maybe it was like a once-in-a-lifetime kind of thing, sort of like what Madagascar did in 2019. But, man, I, I hope it's not the case. I, I'm, I'm hoping it's not the case. Um, but if it does happen, I'm probably going to say Congo comes third, and I think South Sudan will come last. So, yeah, that's my prediction for that one. And then we went on to the penultimate group. Oh, still, God, damn, we still got a lot of groups to go. Uh, group H, sorry. Uh, Cameroon, Ivory Coast, Lesotho, Zambia got... Uh, sorry, not Cameroon, sorry, Comoros. Hold on, Ivory Coast already qualified. Why are they still in this? But whatever. Anyways, Ivory Coast have qualified by default because of the host nation. Second place, I'm going to go with this Comoros. And then third, I'm going to predict third anyway because I feel like third might still have a chance. I think Zambia will probably get third. Um, and Lesotho, I think, will come last. So I think what's going to happen is this. If Ivory Coast finishes third... So, like, would the top three qualify then? I think top three would qualify then, I think. Um, yeah, let's move on, guys. Let's move on. Anyways, group five. We got DR Congo, Gabon, Mauritius, Sudan. Yeah, this is, I think, straightforward. DR Congo, Gabon should advance through. Although, I did hear the news, guys, that Pyrrhic Emmerich Obaming has retired from Gabon. So, he will no longer play for the Gabon national team. But I still think Gabon should have enough quality to get second place. With that said. DR Congo, I think, will talk. Group J, we got Botswana, Equatorial Guinea, Libya, Tunisia. Now, I think Tunisia is going to top, and I'm going to go with Equatorial Guinea. I think Equatorial Guinea actually defeated Tunisia in the World Cup qualifiers the first round. Um, and so, I think Equatorial Guinea have enough quality. And remember, guys, they were in the AFCON, I believe. So, I think they'll get this job done. And the Group K, guys. Group K, the penultimate group. Here we go, guys. Lib Liberia, Morocco, South Africa, Zimbabwe. Remember, guys, Zimbabwe will not take part anymore because they've been disqualified. Everything like that. So, we have Morocco. For me, I think this is straightforward. I think Morocco and South Africa should make it. That's South Africa, man. They better make this one because they missed the last AFCON, which is pretty crazy. Um, if they miss it out again, man, that's going to be really bad. But they should. They Let me just say this right now. They should make it through. And then finally, the final group we got is Group L. We got probably the maybe the toughest group. Actually, isn't, nah, this isn't the toughest one. Um, there's another group that's even tougher. So, we got Benin, Mozambique, Rwanda, Senegal. Senegal should definitely top this group. Second, I think Benin should come second. I think they were the nation that defeated uh, Morocco on penalties, I think. So, uh, 2019 AFCON. So, I think they'll make it through. So, let me go ahead and reiterate my predictions. So, to do a quick recap. So, Group A, guys, I got Nigeria, Sierra Leone. Uh, group B, I got Burkina Faso, Cape Verde. Group C, I got Cameroon and Nambia. Group D, I got Egypt and Guinea. Group E, I got Ghana and Central African Republic. Group F, I got Algeria and Uganda. Group G, I got Mali and Gambia. Group H, I got Ivory Coast and uh, Comoros. Actually, I'm thinking, do I change my mind? Nah, no, I'm going to change my mind. I think Cam Comoros and Zambia will qualify anyway. Um, okay. Uh, group I, I'm going to go DR Congo and Gabon. And then Group J, I'm going to go to Tunisia, Equator, Guinea. And Group K, I'm going to go to Morocco and South Africa. And Group L, I'm going to go with Benin and Senegal. So those are my predictions, man. I want you guys to comment down below which nations you think will make the Africa Cup of Nations. You guys, 24 nations make it. And 21 has already been confirmed. One has already been confirmed. So I hope you guys did enjoy the video, guys. Comment down below your thoughts in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new and you like this video if you didn't enjoy. Make sure to check out my in the description below. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.